Elon Musk just talked about one of my pet peeves, traffic lights. I hate them. And I hate the fact that they don't, they use technology that's about 50 years old. Hello my friends and welcome to the Electric Viking. Sam Evans, I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all your new subscribers. Great to have you on the channel. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, watching the channel. Really appreciate what you do. And remember, the key purpose of this channel is to provide you and those in particular that don't know about electric cars, don't know about batteries, don't know about AI, don't know about how amazing the future is going, how much better the world is becoming every single day. Every single day, the world gets better. But Tesla say they have a lead when it comes to artificial intelligence. This is what Elon is claiming. Is this true? Well, it could be. Now, Elon Musk actually shared some interesting tweets about Tesla's AI this weekend, and even a cool idea that would bring innovation to old traffic lights that take forever to change at 2 a.m., even though no one else is around. And I freaking hate this. You're sitting at a light. It's the middle of the night. And it takes two minutes for the traffic light to change. There's no one there. It's ridiculous. Why is it that we can't figure out how to fix this? I don't understand. And honestly, it does really frustrate me. Let me know if it frustrates you. Or is it just me here? Is it just me that gets annoyed that we have all these traffic lights that, are, that have technology in them that was basically made in 1965? Anyway, here's what he said. We are almost at the point where interventions are so rare on city streets that we can turn our attention to applying the code to highways. No point in doing so until passing that threshold. Beta 10.12 probably releases Tuesday in US and Friday in Canada. Now, obviously, he's referring to Tesla's full self-driving beta. In response to James Stevenson, who asked when full self-driving 11 would be released, Elon said they were almost to the point where interventions are so rare on city streets that the team can turn their attention to applying the code to highways as well. However, there's no point in doing this until Tesla has passed that threshold. He added that Beta 10.12 would probably be released on Tuesday in the United States and Friday in Canada. Now, in another tweet, Elon said that some of the best artificial intelligence software engineers in the world don't realize how advanced Tesla's AI has become. And in response to that, Whole Mars Blog, who was one of the earliest full self-driving beta testers, shared a video clip of it in action. Now, Clean Technica says that it stopped for pedestrians and maneuvered the twisty streets with ease. So it appears like it is actually getting better. However, how will this actually work with traffic lights? Well, Sam Albuquerque tweeted at Elon, traffic lights need to be controlled by AI. The amount of time we waste at a red light with no vehicle or human crossing is mind boggling. And Elon Musk wrote 100%. Agreed. And I think this issue, even if you don't get annoyed by this, or if you do, key point here is that realistically, the global economy loses billions of dollars per day in wasted productivity. That is true. I'm not making that up. It's actually a fact. By sitting at traffic lights doing nothing, we literally waste billions of dollars in productivity that is blown down the drain. Wasted time equals wasted money in wages or wasted ability to make money and therefore we lose money. Now, as already hinted, Elon also had an interesting idea to solve this problem that, well, everyone around the whole world seems to have with traffic lights. Now, personally, I've been in this scenario many times. I used to often go surfing at the morning. I'd leave home at 4 a.m., sometimes earlier, to try and get there right on sunrise. And I'd have to drive through 50 sets of traffic lights on the way there, something ridiculous like that, and there'd be no one around. I mean, we're talking Saturday, Sunday morning, no one around, and it would take forever because I'd be waiting for no one at all these different sets of traffic lights. Now, Musk said this, maybe Tesla should make an AI vision device that plugs into these legacy traffic lights. It could just look at traffic and automatically maximize throughput. Elon replied to a tweet with that tweet. Basically, he's saying that a Tesla AI vision device would help 
these old traffic lights be able to determine when traffic is heavy or light. And he pointed out that it could look at traffic and automatically maximize throughput. In other words, it would prevent the red light on the I-10 exit from keeping you trapped for 30 minutes at 2 a.m. Now, Mike Dyke made a really interesting comment. It's worth considering. He said, having worked on developing automatic traffic light control systems for Siemens and other companies in the 1980s. I am very surprised that some cities don't have automatic control in place today. The traffic systems I worked on had detectors on the road ahead of the traffic lights, and then they used some fancy maths on the queue lengths to work out the best sequence to get the traffic flowing through the junction with minimal delay. Those systems also had green paths where an emergency vehicle would have a special detector on it and the system would change the traffic lights to green as they approached. Well, we don't have that at all here in Australia. I've never seen that work. The system has probably improved a lot since then. I wonder why cities haven't considered installing them. It's a good question. Why haven't they? Now, I suspect cost is the reason, but the question is, will we get that money back if we installed that technology? How long will it take to increase productivity enough to get it back? I suspect it probably wouldn't be all that long considering the cost of technology has just come down so much over the past 20 years. Now, obviously this solution would be easy and cheaper. If the upgrade didn't involve actually digging into the concrete, into the road, a camera on the light and a new controller would be all that is needed for an AI system. In my view, smarter traffic lights would be a really welcome addition to my city, where I live, that's for sure. I don't know about yours, let me know what you think. So much time and fuel gets wasted because of poor traffic light management. Let me know in the comment section below. Is this a challenge you've faced? Is this an issue that's ever frustrated you? Thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.